At this time, I'd like to call to order the meeting of the Village Board for August 13th, 2019. Can you please join us for the pledge? I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. At this time, can you please remain standing as we take a moment of silence for a young man in our community who lost his life last week? Thank you. <clears throat> Village clerk, would you please call the roll? President D. Simone? Here. Trustee Carmona? Here. Trustee France? Here. Trustee Fry? Here. Trustee Lomax? Here. Trustee Panicola? Here. Trustee Perez? Here. At this time, we will move the public comment. Does anyone wish to address the board? If so, please approach the podium and state your name. Any public comment? No. Seeing none, this will conclude public comment. I would ask for a motion to deviate from the agenda to consider the proclamation, which is later on the agenda. All in favor, please say aye. 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 Any opposed, say nay. Okay, moving forward, we are going to, uh, one second. Proclamation honoring Bentonville resident and musician Armando Rodriguez. Let me read the proclamation real quick. Proclamation honoring Armando Rodriguez for life-saving actions. Whereas on May 5th, 2019 at approximately 9 p.m., Bentonville resident Armando Rodriguez came upon vehicles that were involved in a two-car collision in unincorporated Bentonville, Illinois. And whereas while no one was stopping to aid the crash victims, and whereas one vehicle began to smoke and the driver and passenger were both unconscious. And whereas Armando Rodriguez used his elbow to break the window to rescue the driver and passenger before flames engulfed the vehicle. Mm. And whereas Armando Rodriguez, while placing himself in imminent danger near a burning vehicle, performed successful life-saving acts, rescuing people in need. Whereas Bentonville resident Armando Rodriguez received the DuPage County Sheriff's Life-Saving Award for his heroism and bravery in DuPage County. And whereas Armando Rodriguez is a truly successful magician, musician and a member of the Grammy-winning musical group AK7, today is being recognized as an outstanding Bentonville resident and member of this community. Now, therefore, I, Village President Frank D. Simone, together with the Board of Trustees and the citizens of Bentonville, do by do hereby recognize the honor Benz, and honor Bentonville resident Armando Rodriguez for his quick thinking and heroic actions in, in saving the lives of others in need. Dated this 13th day of August, 2019. Is, it, is there a motion to support this proclamation? Aye. So moved. All, uh, do I have a second? Second. second. All in favor, uh, please call the roll. I'll say yes first. <laughs> President D. Simone? Yes. Trustee Carmona? Yes. Trustee Franz? Yes. Trustee Fry? Yes. Trustee Lomax? Yes. Trustee Penacola? Yes. Trustee Perez? Yes. Motion carries. I guess I'm a little bit emotional because it's the I second time I received this. Never, never thought. Are we just I standing think, up uh, here? Like I told the people from DuPage that it's an honor for me to have this in the house where my other Grammys are at. <laughs> mm -hmm. This is something, you know, it's, I, when I grew up here in this neighborhood, I, I, I still live here. A lot of people, the Spanish community uh, knows me really well from here. It's, it's an honor for me. I, I would do it for anybody. If I see anybody, in the, I'll do it for anybody, any of you guys. <laughs> I'll do the same thing. Thank you help, so help much. Thank you. Thank you. Come, on, come in here. Come on down. Come on down. Come on. Yeah, come on down. Okay. Come yeah. on down. First time. I know. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. Um, you guys want to bring your family up? Sure. Call your mom. <laughs> You want to take one quick picture and then we can take it with the family? Come on down. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you guys are front and center. Yeah.
Thank you. What, just your family? Cool. Yeah, I, have, I have a lot of people. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Is there a motion to approve the minutes from the July 16, 2019 village board meeting? So yeah, motion. Is there a second? Second. Are there any modifications to the minutes? All in favor, please say aye. 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 All opposed, please say nay. Motion carries and the minutes are approved. The next item of business is to approve the warrant in the amount of $2,644,523.08. Is there a motion to approve the warrant? You have, you have a motion. motion. Is there a second? Second. Is there any discussion on the warrant? Please call the roll. Trustee Carmona? Yes. Trustee Franz? Yes. Trustee Fry? Yes. Trustee Lomax? Yes. Trustee Penacola? Yes. Trustee Perez? Yes. Six. The motion carries and the warrant is approved. There are no items on the, cons on the consent agenda. Under administration, a resolution adopting the designating signatories for the village board. Is there a motion to approve the resolution? So moved. Do I have a second? Second. There being a motion and a second, is there any discussion? So what this is, is um, with the departure of our former finance director, we're adding Julie as a signator for the village. Um, this, there are people who are allowed to sign checks for the village. We keep it at two elected officials, which would be uh, village president Frank Simone and village trustee Rosa Carmona, and then two staff, uh, which would be myself as a village manager and the finance director, Julie McManus. So there being a motion and a second, any other discussion? Call the roll. Trustee Carmona? Yes. Trustee Franz? Yes. Trustee Fry? Yes. Trustee Lomax? Yes. Trustee Penacola? Yes. Trustee Perez? Yes. That's six. Motion carries and the resolution is approved. Uh, there's a resolution approving of a sod improvement program grant in the not to exceed amount of $10,000 for the original Jim and Tom's at <coughs> 123 West Irving Park Road. Is there a motion to approve the resolution? You have a motion. Do I have a second on the motion? Second. second. There being a motion and a second, is there any discussion? Would it be Scott? Mr. Viger, can you walk us through this, please? I'll be, I'll be brief. Um, everyone knows Anastasia from Jim and Tom. It's been in town for over 40 years. It's exciting for us that she's rebranding the, the restaurant. Um, not changing too much, but rebranding a little bit. So the facade program uh, does uh, allow 50-50 split of eligible costs for improvements such as the signage and the awnings and things you see in the in the image on the screen. So she does have the uh, application in and she started doing some of the work, some of the painting outside. Um, we've got estimates over $20,000 to date. So uh, we're proud to recommend approval of this facade grant, 50-50 up to $10,000 for Jim and Tom's. Any awesome. other questions? Please call the roll. Trustee Carmona? Yes. Trustee Franz? Yes. Trustee Fry? Yes. Trustee Lomax? Yes. Trustee Penicola? Yes. Trustee Perez? Yes. yes. That's six. The motion carries and the resolution is approved. Uh, is there a motion to approve the resolution uh, which is opposing to Page County Zoning Petition Z19-050 Zappin? We have a motion. So a second. Second. There being a motion and a second, is there any discussion? Mr. Viger, this is an unusual one for us. Can you walk us through this, please? Yeah. The uh, DuPage County Zoning Board, of course, deals with zoning variation requests in the unincorporated part of the county. Uh, for us, we, we get these um, in your packet. You'll see a little form where we say we object or don't object, uh, and then we send them back. 99% of the time, uh, if it's west of Route 83, we, we uh, don't have an opinion on that. Uh, this one is at the northeast corner of um, Red Oak and Route 83. Uh, it's a nice house, and the request is for a large RV. If you go by the house, you'll see it. It's already there. A large RV in what is termed the front yard, visible from Route 83 behind the bushes. So we um, normally look at these things and say if it violates our zoning ordinance, uh, we would we would say so and just pass that along to the county in, in this case of course it does violate our ordinance of course it violates the county's ordinance as well and we felt um, because it's highly visible and so forth from route 83 uh, we wanted a formal objection uh, submitting the form you see on your screen saying we object is not quote unquote a formal objection the county requires a resolution from the the board to do that so the public hearing is on the 21st uh, we have to have the resolution to the county clerk by the 20th, I believe the date is. 
and we just got this on the uh, the seventh or eighth, so they don't give you a lot of time. So we respectfully ask that uh, you support the resolution objecting to this variation request. I might add that our friends from Wooddale, um, they're not they don't have time to do a resolution. They're going to send in the form supporting our position of objection. Any other questions? Please call the roll. Trustee Carmona? Yes. Trustee Franz? Yes. Trustee Fry? Yes. Trustee Lomax? Yes. Trustee Penicola? Yes. Trustee Perez? Yes. That's six. The motion carries and the resolution is approved. On to the police department, a resolution, a resolution for the Intergovernmental Police Service Assistance IPSA agreement. Is there a motion to approve the resolution? You have a motion. Do I have a second? Second. There being a motion and a second, any discussion, Chief? This is an intergovernmental task force. It's made up of 120 police officers from the towns in DuPage County that render assistance. We actually utilized them the other night without the agreement, uh, knowing that the agreement was going to be passed. If any of the towns in DuPage County need help, all the other towns in DuPage County send help. That's basically what it is. Previously, the task force was combined of two separate task forces. This year, they combined it all into one, and now they've added more services to it, but they've kept the pricing the same, and it's already budgeted, so it has no additional cost. Any other questions? Please call the roll. Trustee Carmona? Yes. Trustee Franz? Yes. Trustee Fry? Yes. Trustee Lomax? Yes. Trustee Penicola? Yes. Trustee Perez? Yes. That's six. Motion carries and resolution is approved. Uh, Public Works Ordinance de designating certain property as surplus and authorizing the disposal of that property. Is there a motion to approve this ordinance? You have a motion. Do I have a second? Second. second. Being a motion and a second, is there any discussion, Joe? Sure. Uh, as we do periodically throughout the year, we do declare certain pieces of equipment that we no longer need as surplus. Uh, tonight we have two items in front of you. One of them is a 2000 Bobcat skid steer. If you recall, last board meeting we approved the purchase of a new skid steer. As part of that purchase, we did have a trade-in. Uh, value for this one so our plan is to once we declare it surplus to go ahead and use that as a trade-in value for the new uh, Bobcat I believe we got ninety eight hundred dollars for this piece of equipment um, the second one is an old uh, cutting plotter that was used for a sign sign shop in the past um, we have uh, actually had interest from another community don't know if they want it for parts or what it is so uh, they have shown interest in purchasing uh, this plotter from us so I figure I need to declare it surplus before I sell it to them. <laughs> so that's why that item is on there as well. Thank you for that, Joe. There being a motion second, do we have any other questions? Call the roll, please. Trustee Carmona? Yes. Trustee Franz? Yes. Trustee Fry? Yes. Trustee Lomax? Yes. Trustee Penicola? Yes. Trustee Perez? Yes. That's six. Motion carries and the ordinance is passed. Two is a resolution authorizing the execution of a purchase order to Standard Equipment Company of Chicago, Illinois, for labor and equipment to repair 2009 Sterling Vector in the not to exceed amount of $14,000. Is there a motion to approve the resolution? You have a motion. motion. Do I have a second? Second. Okay. There being a motion and a second, is there any discussion, Joe? Uh, sure. So this is a uh, one of our two sewer sucking machines. It's our 2009 Vector. Um, this one is uh, 10 years old, and as part of its uh, age, it had two fan assemblies that were um, going bad. Um, usually these last about five to seven years. This one lasted nine years, so we're satisfied to hear that um, however with those two fans going bad they also broke a bell housing which they were housed in so um, that added a little bit more to a normal maintenance cost uh, we had about nine thousand dollars worth of parts to do this repair for forty seven hundred dollars worth of labor uh, standard equipment is the midwest regional supplier of the parts and the labor so we it was kind of a sole source uh, work um, the total amount is thirteen thousand eight hundred forty seven dollars and the work has been done any other questions? Please call the roll. Trustee Carmona? Yes. Trustee Franz? Yes. Trustee Fry? Yes. Trustee Lomax? Yes. Trustee Penicola? Yes. Trustee Perez? Yes. That's six. Motion carries. The resolution is approved. Number three is a resolution authorizing the execution of a purchase order to K&S Energy Services Incorporated of Chicago for an emergency fabric dust replacement at the aquatic center in the not to exceed amount of $35,300. Is there a motion to approve this resolution? You have a motion. Do I have a second on that motion? Second. There being a motion and a second, is there any discussion, Joe? Uh, as you would think, an aquatic center temperature is a very important component of that. Um, air conditioning and HVAC goes through fabric ductwork in an aquatic center. If we had metal ductwork, it'd probably rust pretty quickly with all the chemicals and things like that. Uh, so this fabric duct was installed with the original pool in 2003. Um, it has a number of rips and tears on it that we have been patching over the past few years. It's gotten to the point where we can no longer patch and repair it. 
Um, so we're looking for this emergency purchase of a new ductwork to go around the pool so that we can keep, keep our cap temperature controlled. Uh, we had three quotes from three different entities out there that replaced this. Uh, one was for, the one we're look looking to get approved is from k &S Energy in the amount of $35,300. Any questions? Well, I, I will add that uh, this is being an emergency repair, it's unbudgeted, so we are gonna have to move some things around over at Redmond. Projects that we wanted to undertake aren't gonna be undertaken this year, <coughs> and that way we can rebalance the funds so we don't go over budget. Any other questions? Call the roll, please. <coughs> Trustee Carmona? <coughs> yes. Trustee Franz? Yes. Trustee Fry? Yes. Trustee Lomax? Yes. Trustee Panicola? Yes. Trustee Perez? Yes. That's six. Motion carries. The resolution is approved. Number four is an ordinance of the Village of Bensonville, <coughs> DuPage, Cook Counties, Illinois, ascertaining the prevailing weight prevailing rate of wages for laborers, mechanics, and other workers employed on public works projects in the Village of Bensonville. Is there a motion to approve the ordinance? You have a motion. Do we have a second? Second. There being a motion and a second, any discussion? I'll take this one. Um, the Illinois Department of Labor publishes prevailing wage rates uh, regularly. Um, we have the option of either accepting those rates or conducting our own study. Conducting our own study for a community our size would be cost prohibitive. So we accept the um, Illinois Department of Labor's rates. Um, this locks in what rates uh, contractors have to be paying their employees. So um, this is just a regulatory thing that we do on a regular basis. Any questions? Please call the roll. Trustee Carmona? Yes. Trustee Franz? Yes. Trustee Fry? Yes. Trustee Lomax? Yes. Trustee Penicola? Yes. Trustee Perez? Yes. That's six. The motion carries and the ordinance is passed. Uh, we do not have any reports uh, for recreation. I do have some for my presidential remarks. Uh, the first one, I just want to explain why we're all up here in Cubs uh, jerseys, or some of us are up here in Cubs jerseys, and we have our Cubs hats up here. That's in honor of the uh, the young gentleman who lost his life last week. He was a huge Cub fan, and we and the board up uh, board of myself thought it would be a good idea to remember uh, him by doing that for him. So that's kind of why this is up here and why we're dressed like this. Um, on a construction update, uh, our construction outlook for the next couple of weeks will include include one project finishing up, and one actively in progress, and one starting up uh, shortly. Our annual resurfacing program will be completed tomorrow morning with final pavement striping on Grove between Route 83 and Church and Foster west of Route 83. The downtown streetscape project is in full force with active installation of underground utilities along Center and Addison and sidewalk and surface work along Green Street. The one-way traffic pattern is in full force, so please be careful navigating through the work site. Please make sure to support your favorite downtown businesses during our construction. They are all open. The Church Road Bike Project uh, Path Project will begin next week. Traffic control devices will likely start showing up this week as we plan for the extension of the bike path from Grove Avenue to Irving Park Road. This project is scheduled for November 30th completion. And to uh, most parents' enjoyment, but most children's non-enjoyment, school starts tomorrow. Uh, so please remember to drive safely and be mindful of the students entering and exiting school buses. We also have uh, three more music in the parks left uh, this summer. This week is Poisoned Crew, followed by Seventh Heaven. And we will close the season out with Simply Elton, which is a rescheduled uh, from earlier in the year. That's all I have for presidential remarks. Do we have anything on the village manager's report? Just a couple items. Um, the skunks in town are out in full force. We recognize that. I had three in my backyard two days ago at the same time. Um, <laughs> I want to remind everyone that the village has partnered with ABC Humane Wildlife and negotiated discounted rates. So if skunks are posing a problem in your uh, neighborhood or your yard or your house, uh, go to our website and contact them for more information. And then finally, um, I want to thank uh, one of our trustees for reminding me of this. Coffee of the Village president is this Saturday. It's the first one of the year that we're kicking off. It'll be at Crimples Park, uh, 10 a.m. to noon. Crimples Park is the park located in the Brentwood neighborhood. We invite everyone to come out, specifically from the neighborhood. Uh, we'll try to have as many people from the board in front of you out there. I know a village president and I will be there. So if you have any questions, just want to touch base and grab a cup of coffee, please join us. So that's all I have for tonight. Uh, is there any attorney's report? I have no report, Mr. President. Is there any unfinished business to come before the board tonight? Is there any new business to come before tonight? Okay, do we have executive session? We do not. Is there a motion to adjourn this meeting? You have a motion. Do I have a second? second. All in favor, please say aye. Aye. All opposed, please say nay. Motion carries. We are adjourned. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen.